guys, Dan the Wolf here, about to do some revolver training today. Yeah, with my primary, my New York Reload New Jersey backup. Just did a video to Yankee Marshall about this bad boy. I got four views on all these guys. You might want to check out. It's going to be expensive today, but I'm going to do it. I got some Arms Core 357 Magnum, and I found some Atlanta Arms Reman. These should be pud loads. Uh, wad cutters, probably accurate. Uh, probably smoky, we'll find out in a bit. Uh, but I actually am going to shoot some 357 Magnum, really expensive hollow points, because this gun was gone over a bit with the M Carbo uh, kit and sanded a little bit by a knowledgeable dude. The trigger's really nice now. But I had a couple of failures in a competition months ago with the Arms Corps, which is hard primers. I don't think I will with self defense ammo, but I have to make sure. I've got two critical duty 135 grain. Then I have three. Then I have three 135 grain gold dots. I was able to find new from a company I've never gotten from. They're supposedly hot, so we'll see if we can tell the recoil difference from 135 critical duty to the 135 gold dots or not. And then I got a couple 158 heavy, heavy recoiling Federal uh, 158 semi jacketed hollow points. But I kind of need to do it. Unfortunately, it's like throwing money. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right, it's like throwing the money away, but I gotta check it. I gotta make sure that the defense uh, primer is basically function in this revolver. About six, seven yards it looks like. I'll try to go not super fast. You can see the different, uh, but I don't want to go slow either because I want to make sure like I'm doing cold, uh, what I would really be doing. Sometimes I don't get a great get grip uh, from a pedestal. Here we go. Hurt. Um, hopefully in replay we can see if the critical duty it doesn't recoil heavy I think the 135 gold dots the three after that rounds three four five uh, seem to be hot I think they were a little hotter than the critical duty which is that hot well for cold first shots of the day haven't shot this in seven months <laughs> I'm happy with that I got six absolutely A zone spine, three touching each other almost, two touching each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And guys, that's a 135, that's a hotter 135 gold dot it seemed like. I'll have to watch it back slow mo. And uh, a couple 158s, which really didn't print any higher at the six, seven yards. Mr. Wisconsin bad guy uh, was here. So hopefully you guys like seeing the recoil difference. Revolver training's fun. All right, this should be fun. All right, so, you know, how about a guy with the New York Reload and his cousin over in Jersey? You gotta have the Jersey Reload, huh? Well, this guy looks sufficiently foobod. I got my 8-inch pie there, everything, except for these three. I'm actually just gonna assume these three were my one-handed uh, shots, my left-handed, single-handed, when I went single-handed shots which I have to be aware of, of drafting too far over if I did carry a revolver as a backup with that DA pole when I don't train that all the time. So occasionally I have carried this as my backup gun in the front offside front pocket and um, that's happened a little bit in the full review of this AL 3.1 revolver that Yankee Marshall has been uh, doing stuff on. Six shots, the other seven shots, so that was 20 shots the 357 Magnum in a row. All carried on me, all these stainless steel guns. What's up, pansies? Guys, in case I didn't say, Taylor Special Edition, I think it's 1782, three inch, seven shot, 357 Magnum Ruger GP100 comes with these Ultima grips. Taurus 692, three inch, 357 Magnum, 
38A or swap the cylinder 9mm. I'm doing 357 today, obviously. And uh, put on an ultimate rosewood uh, checkered grip on it, which just looks amazing. And then we got the new Rock Island Armory imported from the Czech Republic, AL 3.1 that Yankee Marshall's been going out about, and I have four of you on that as well. I have four views, unboxings, pretty much at all these. So, sub and check out my playlist. All right, guys, got all three revolvers loaded up with Magnums, and then I only have three left after that. So I'm gonna do my training with the Magnums, and then we got three shots left for accuracy, and then we'll go to the 38s if I have time and do some accuracy comparison between the revolvers. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy that, but I need to get my training in with the really expensive Oh my god, 357 Magnum handle. So, about seven yards, six, seven yards. You shot a little high, let's see how I did. Well, that distance, not bad. I got, with a bad grip actually, I got uh, heart, artery, and lung, and I Hey guys, the trip, the double tap is dead. It's all about triple taps nowadays, or more. 357, 45, 10 mil, be doing triple taps, not double taps. 9 mil, I'd be doing fast fives. Over uh, four until they drop. I'll take that, I'll take that. I'll buy that for a dollar. One, two on the spine. I think that's uh, three, a little high in the artery. Um, so the third one was a little high. Uh, not great, but down bad guy. Bill Jordan does it again! Bam! Okay. Robert. The first shot was bad too far that way, kind of had a bad grip, and I adjusted, and the other two were good shots. AL 3.1 offside. First two magnums, obviously, are the next two are 38 special. All right, we're out of time and data. 38 special in each, 38 wad cutters. Let's go uh, seven yards headshots with the GP100 up first. Uh, let's do single action. I right? barely ever practice. Right. Accurate round. There's my first two, and the third one I, I knew I threw to the right. It was a very small head, by the way. That's about a hard size width. Um, it's a GP100. Let's go to the Tour 692 next. All right, Tour 692, single action. I did. Okay, so I didn't do as good in the Taurus single action. I like the double action on the Taurus. I don't love the single action, but I really like the double action. Um, yeah, it's probably me. I pulled a little left. Uh, it is what it is. Plus, this is powder puff loads, and I got the sights kind of sensibly work on full bore 357, like 135 grain. It's kind of where I got the sights in between 125 and 158. You can look at my forearm view. And the 9mm only hits a couple inches lower. Rock Island Armory imported Czech uh, Republic AL 3.1. This is gutter sights, guys. It's all silver. I haven't paid at the front. So that's going to make a difference. on the last one. Let's see. And my bad, not the revolver, though I think I found in the review that it did shoot a little right. 
Uh, one, two, and the last one, yeah, I threw up the pie. Right, you gotta miss. Hate doing that in general. Hate doing that on camera. Uh, but uh, there, there, that, that is not bad. This is a very small, this is not a real target. So, here's my distance, inch and a half. And that works just be shooting a shot. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please thumbs up, share. Uh, and subscribe. These are all wonderful revolvers. Ruger GP100, Kalo Edition 3 inch, Taurus 692 multi caliber, and the AL 3.1. All great revolvers. Guys, please check out my full reviews on the for my best pew pew review playlist. Hopefully, you enjoyed coming to the range and having a good old fashioned revolver day with Dan the Wolfman. Share, subscribe, hit whatever's up there, and hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you on the flip side.